Hey Capricorn, Jackie Tomlin here, and this is your general reading for the week of May 8, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Now, uh, first thing that I'm getting here, there is a warning here on your health. I want to throw that out there. Uh, something you've been worried about, something you've been neglecting. And for some of you, I think it's maybe a healthcare concern that you've been putting off. But there is definitely a warning here on your health. All right, before we get into things, please remember these are general readings. Take with you, it resonates. Leave what does not behind for someone else. Hello, Jean. And this is uh, one of those things that, yeah, it's about taking back your power, getting things under control. All righty. So health warning. If you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. And don't forget that there is information on personal readings in the description box below the video. All right, Capricorn. Cancer may or may not resonate. So will a Gemini. Aries. These are signs that may or may not resonate with you. There's going to be a good business deal for you this week. You're also reconnecting, reuniting with someone from your past. Hello, Miss Alicia. Um, there is that caution to slow down. I've seen it in several signs. Okay. Um, just in general. Some of you getting ready to travel. There's a trip out of state. It does shade that you get what you want. And there's going to be a new emotional path for you. Some of you, I think it's more than a new emotional path. I think it's more than one new emotional path. Someone close to you is coming in to help you out of a sticky situation. There's also the signing of some type of legal document. Now, remember you're during retro, so make sure you read the fine print. Uh, something is leading up to good luck, total victory, and new opportunities. But is someone close to you coming in to save the day or someone coming in to help you out? All right, let's pull some oracles on the Capricorns before we get into your reading. Y'all, this has been a long day. I don't know about y'all, but it's been a long day. You just got your notification? Well, you know, Harry, better late than never at this point, right? Capricorn, success, love, transformation, playfulness, prosperity, and the truth. You know, I really, really like this energy. I mean, out of all the signs I've done, we're coming up on the end. And Capricorn, this is some seriously some good energy for retro for you guys. Some of you dealing with new love. Some of you have revived your love life. So let's see what we get here. Okay. Now we're going to jump into the tarot for the Capricorns. All right, Capricorn, the lovers, huh. same as your oracle card, there's intensity in your love life. This is whether you are a single or if you are in a couple situation. We also have ooh, the four of wands, someone looking at the happily ever forever after in the five of cups. So, okay, so Capricorn. Someone's ready to get married. Someone is ready to move forward in this relationship. If you are not in a relationship, someone will be offering your relationship or there will be the announcement of a relationship. And, oh, thank you, Miss Dana. This is um, also, if you're single, someone could be proposing to you, to be honest. 
Five of Cups. Get out your head. Stop overthinking things. When you overthink things, you take your energy way down. Things go just fine if you just stop overthinking. Three of Cups. Center of the reading comes in with the Five of Pentacles. Hey, Steph. And then we have the Six of Pentacles as well. So three of Cups, three or more people get together, outing, celebration, could be dinner out, could be dinner in. Okay. Five of Pentacles talks about a spiritual and financial blessing. And something comes in to save the day. Could be some tears shed as well. Very emotional time. Remember, you're still under retro, which is that time frame of the unexpected. Okay, then we've got the Six of Pentacles is something that's coming in to restore your financial balance. Uh, in turn, you're going to be able to help someone else out financially. I'm going to say within the next upcoming weeks. We have the Queen of Wands here. Could be dealing with an Aries. I think I saw that at the beginning of your uh, reading. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Fire Sign. Someone grounded. This is you taking authority. It's you putting your foot down and you being true to yourself. You have the hermit. The hermit says you feel scattered. You feel like you're all over the place. You know, it is retro. But bottom line is telling you to trust where you're being led. You're on the right path. And we have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords comes in and says, it's time for you to make decisions. Capricorn, these are decisions you've been putting off for too long. And something to do with stripes. Could be a shirt. Could be a new shirt. But something to do with stripes. Hey, Luke. Hello and Welcome. All right, let's go further with these messages and start top on the love life. We have the four of materials. So this is asking you, and this is in matters of the heart, to keep some things to yourself. Thoughts, ideas, opinions, perhaps a stash of cash. Doesn't have to be, but keeping some things to yourself. And we have the three, what was it, three of wands? Okay. With that, we have the five of material. So, yeah, the five of material over top of the five of material. So, this is the second time telling you that there is a spiritual and financial blessing here. And honestly, I want to say that it comes in the nick of time. We have the page of voices. You guys have a secret admirer. Could be a Taurus, doesn't have to be, but there's someone that's watching you, perhaps online, uh, things of that nature. I don't see this person coming forward as of yet. And then we have the Three of Cups. You have the Awakening. Spiritual Awakening, the dawning of a new day. Something has transpired. Something that has caused you to look at things in a different light. On that first five of pentacles is the two of inspiration. Okay. So travel plans being made. There's definitely some travel for my Capricorns. Okay. And on that six of pentacles, we have the queen of inspiration, which is funny. That comes right before the queen of wands, which is the same energy. The ground at the center to making things about yourself, being true to yourself. All righty, Taurus. And on that Queen of Wands, a couple of them have jumped out here. You have strength, as in strength is on your side, no matter what you do. And you have the Seven of Emotions, meaning you've got options in your love life. This is going to be huge if you're single, okay? So you've got more than one option to slow down, think things through. That Hermit says the five of cups the five of emotions same thing you're overthinking things get out your own head you know and, and let me say this if you look at the five of cups card it shows that the card the cups in front of you are overturned but if you turn around and look behind you those cups are upright 
So when you catch yourself overthinking things, just stop. On the Two of Swords, we have options again. Options after options after options. I am seeing more of a dinner, perhaps some type of romantic dinner coming up from a Capricorn. Just want to throw that out there. And center reading bonus, the same thing. Six of Pentacles beside the Six of Pentacles. And this is something restoring your financial balance. And same way, you'll be able to help someone else out. And it's all due because of this will. That will says things are turning in your favor finally. This is the card of partnership. So this could be in love and it could be in business. And based upon this reading, Capricorn, for you, it may be in both. But that's what I got going on for Capricorn. It looks like, uh, honestly, you're one of the model reads for this retro energy. So absolutely enjoy. All right, gang, I'm logging off, coming back with Aquarius. Aquarius is up next. Cross watchers, welcome. So right back.